on the record and the microphone. Go. Starting about three years ago, we began uh, cleaning up the rock. We tore down 45 houses, uh, crushed 150 cars, uh, cleaned up three junkyards. One of the other projects that we hoped to, uh, to clean up was this site that is behind me, the old Exxon station. For about 20 years, it was a derelict station. Nobody wanted to touch it because of the possible environmental uh, consequences that it laid with the, uh, with the underground storage tanks. Uh, we encouraged the county to purchase the lot and began uh, applying for EPA Brownfield, uh, not EPA Brownfield's cleanup grant uh, that we finally received last spring. Uh, work began on the project uh, actually to demolish the building and then uh, uh, remove the tanks behind me uh, this week, three days ago. And as you can see, we are pulling these tanks out uh, right now as we speak and we're very excited. Uh, the future for this lot, uh, we will come back in in the, in the uh, intermediary term and uh, grass it over as a, as a pocket park, uh, plant some trees, uh, expose this rock wall that is behind it which blends in with the uh, original Brockmorton stone architecture. Mm -hmm. uh, eventually, we will make this the gateway to West Texas. We are trying to market Brockmorton as the gateway uh, to West Texas, both uh, geographically, geologically, historically, and, uh, and politically. This is very much a line of demarcation. Uh, we will use original indicative stone to, uh, to build this gateway, which hopefully in three or four years will become uh, a reality.